Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial for Hacking Fever. Today I'm going to show you how to download uh, files from RapidShare automatically. Like if you have a file that's separated into multiple parts and you don't want to have to wait the 15 minutes in between each wait or the 60 seconds, whatever it is, this file, this program automate does it for you. I made this program in visualbasic.net so I have all the rights to it, even though it says Toshiba, I forgot to change that. I know how to, so no one posts comments about that. And before we go any further, I want to make sure you guys know that doing, I'm just demonstrating how my program works. Uh, I do not want you to actually use this on RapidShare to automate downloading files. Um, only uh, use this if you want to test it out. And I'm just trying to show you guys how good I'm at, I am at Visual Basic. And I know that's not that much of a talent, but I'm just saying that so that way I don't get any complaints. Because RapidShare does have a reason for the wait time. It's because they want, well, what I think it is, is... Uh, they want to make sure they don't have a huge like download uh, limit and their bandwidth can stay high. So that way you do get a fast download time. If everyone was to use this program, then RapidShare would probably stop working. I will be uh, continually updating this uh, file, so don't worry. Oh yeah, I forgot. If you want to download this file, just go to hackingfever.com forward slash downloaded files, I think. I'll have a link uh, in this YouTube video, so don't worry. And all you need to do to get this program working is quite simple. You just fi uh, find your RapidShare link. Make sure it's a RapidShare file download, not like Mega Upload or anything else. Copy it into this little text box down here. Hit Add. And there you go. You have the file added, and you can just add multiple files, and it does it for you. So, uh, oh yeah, I want to tell you another thing about the Mega Upload. I do hope to have this as a feature in the future. But if I, it's going to be very complicated because Mega Upload actually has a Capacha code, which I think RapidShare might soon. So this program will break as soon as that happens. But after this is um, hit, you guys, if you used RapidShare before, you probably know about the 15 minute wait time in between files. For, and it tracks your IP address, so there's no way to get out of it except for changing an IP address, which is very, very boring. So to you can click this checkbox in order to w have it wait before it downloads the next file in case you already downloaded a file before you started this program. But if not, like let's say you know what's going to happen and you just want to use this program right away, you just deselect that and hit the start button. And then it starts downloading the files. So I'll click start. And then it goes to this. This is the debug web browser. Do not do go to another link on here or else you will get an error. There are multiple errors that may happen as if you don't click the wait 15 minutes and you're supposed to. So you automatically selected the free user and now it's going to wait the uh, 65 seconds and it's just a default because uh, it's random what the seconds are. So while you're waiting, just you just see if this works. I know you can just scroll around and stuff. This doesn't matter if you scroll around down here, but. Do not click on any of these links. It will throw off the program and you'll get a nice little error. So, yeah, there's going to be some time after that because it doesn't know when this is done. It's just guessing 65 seconds as a fail safe. So, yeah, it has the download button and, yep. So, another thing I'm going to explain to you while it's before it downloads is that the second you start this program, it's not a virus, even though if another file disk folder does get created in the exact same spot that this is located. I have this on my desktop, so I created this folder on my desktop. It will not overwrite this file if it's already there, but uh, so you can see how what it looks like. It's an empty folder, nothing in there unless you're downloading. Then there's the file it's downloading. It shows you how close it is to being done. Finishing, got a progress bar right here, so that way you can compare it that way instead of having to do a math equation about this. So yeah. You guys can just use this program. It's a nice little neat tool. I use it, even though I made it, because I was trying to download this ISO because I lost my game for Warcraft 3. And they, they had to wait the 15 minutes. And they did not want to, so I just had this running overnight. Got back in the morning, and downloaded files was filled with all the parts of Warcraft 3. Extracted and played it. So, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's not very complicated. And this will stop downloading the second you close out, so you can't restart unless you have another program that can complete it for you. Yeah, sorry about that. That's 
kind of my fault, but yeah, so the second you click close, you can say, you say oh, I want to get rid of this folder, drag it to recycle bin, and it does it for you, which proves that it's not even, uh, the process is ended, so it's not a virus. Don't get confused, passed every single virus test, it was made in visualbasic.net, which like stops you from programming viruses, so please no one complain about it. This icon was made one, by one of my friends. Uh, he's very good at graphical design, and same with the new logo you saw at the beginning of this video. Uh, yes, he's very good, and his online name is The Elite One. If you guys know who he is, good for you. But yeah, so see you next time. Hope you enjoyed this video, and hope you use this program.